The U.S. is truly built on innovation. Uh, and U.S. companies require innovation, and STEM is really at the heart of that. Science, technology, engineering, and math is, is critical to ensuring that we as a country are able to innovate. So it starts with education. You know, we're spending $587 billion a year on education, and yet we're not getting the kind of results that we want, and we're not selling the excitement of STEM careers. We have to compete globally for our national security, for our food, for our medicines, and it's just all going to take uh, a technical future in engineering and science. So, and I see those, those subject matters coming together every day. According to the National Science Foundation, the United States is slipping in terms of degrees awarded, with the United States accounting for only 11% of engineering and science degrees awarded worldwide. We're now seeing where companies are saying their suppliers and vendors that are in STEM fields are so much part of their system and to bring them all right. into the process is likewise, it's just extending the STEM family. And that's something for us and one of the reasons why we invest is not just because we know that our company needs a highly skilled and trained workforce, but it's that communities where we operate need to have uh, students or a workforce that is highly STEM skilled. It's very important that we get students interested in an early age and one key is that we need to develop model programs that, that can be replicated, such as Project Lead the Way, such as the Real Robotics Program. Another program that we've developed at Cal Poly Pomona is in cooperation with our Society of Women Engineers student section. They've developed a program called YES, Youth Engineering Success. And the purpose of this program is to encourage young women in middle school and high school to become engaged with the whole STEM process, with the subjects of STEM. So it gets that enthusiasm at an early age. They can see a future for themselves going into STEM, going into engineering. To go along with that, we found in, in, in the uh, uh, inner cities that the kids could relate to something they want. They want to be able to cure cancer because somebody died in their family of cancer. They want to have national defense because somebody in their family is a member of the military. So we found that if we can relate to something they want and then peel the onion backwards to say, okay, you want to do this? Here are the classes you're going to need. Here's why this is important. And so it's again the career uh, that we found is important. Then the second thing we found is how do we think in the future? We know we have jobs now, but thinking in the future <clears throat> is what is big data? What is, what is supercomputing? I said, now let's think ahead. We're going to have driverless cars, driverless trucks. We're going to have on-demand entertainment. That's all big data. And as you said earlier, Edith, there's going to be just tons and tons of jobs in that field as it comes out to the populations to be able to use it in a way and that they can use it. that's Ray, what you're saying we're not communicating. That's right. And that I think all four of us agree what a tremendous opportunity for kids to get excited about the new jobs, right? They get the grand challenges and they want to tackle those grand challenges. Uh -huh. It's up to us to show them how their STEM education and, and what kind of skills are necessary for them to be able to do that. And I'd like to conclude with what we share with parents and teachers across uh, the country is Dr. Albert Baez, who along with Dr. Fitzpatrick at Stanford University, discovered how to focus an x-ray beam in the 40s. He was also a professor and he said he looked for in students the four C's. The first one was creativity, the second one was curiosity. The third one was competence. You have to know your subject matter. You have to just know it. And the fourth one kind of startled me a little bit. He said compassion. So if we're going to be in technology, we have to have that C for compassion. Yeah, but that four is terrific, right? I think all four of us would also mm -hmm. say we've got to make a national commitment. Mm -hmm. And we had that C, and we got to do it as we've all said through communications. And collaboration. And collaboration. <laughs> Let's add two more Cs. That was great.